With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that the graph between the stopping potential V0 and frequency nu have uh, two different metal plates of two different metal plates P and Q are given in the figure. Which metal has greater threshold wavelength and work function? Okay. So basically, if we see about the threshold wavelength and work function, we get one thing that uh, these are two metals, different metals. Okay. So if we uh, want to check, then we know that uh, energy, okay is equal to kinetic energy minus work function okay this is the thing this is plus not minus okay so basically if you see energy will be equal to what e dot v naught must be equal to what uh, basically uh, we have e dot v naught is equal to h nu okay but uh, e dot v naught we can take it as kinetic energy okay so what we are going to do let's bring kinetic energy over to this side okay not this equation let's take it like this that uh, kinetic energy is equal to energy falling upon the surface minus work function okay so kinetic energy can be given as e dot v naught okay v naught is the stopping potential e is the electronic charge and e is what h mu okay h nu minus phi over here nu is the frequency v naught is the stopping potential phi is the work function okay so if you see over here these two lines are parallel okay if you see properly then uh, if we uh, derive this equation in form of work function and only frequency okay but we need in terms of wavelength okay so basically uh, this is uh, given in terms of frequency only you can see so we will what we'll do we will do v naught is equal to h by e nu minus phi by e okay so this is the thing so this is in form of what this is a straight line equation it is form of y is equal to mx minus c okay so basically this is a negative intercept so basically the intercept which they will form which i am extending it over here okay will be the work function okay will be the work function if i extend this graph back to over here okay up till here so if you see if i extend this this will be basically the work function divided by e okay so e is basically a constant so this this will be what this will be minus work function by e of a of p basically and this will be minus work function by e of q okay this is of q this is of p okay so if you see clearly the q's work function will be greater okay work function of q must be q must be greater than work function of p why because in the graph this is the intercept okay and if you see this is already negative okay but we know that the negative of this is basically the work function so this is the greater is obviously this one you can see because it is more down so basically work function of q is basically greater than work function of p okay so one thing let's write work function of work function of q is basically greater than work function of p okay this is one of the answers and we need to also check about wavelength okay so if we see about wavelength what we'll get over here how how can we like uh, basically it, it's not just wavelength it's threshold wavelength so threshold wavelength is what it is basically the thing that is uh, we will write the equation once more v naught is equal to h by e into basically nu minus work function so work function is given by what it is given by hc by lambda naught over here lambda naught is the work function okay so if you see lambda naught is the work function then what we can say over here for this equation basically we can say that hc by lambda naught okay of a okay this is of a okay must be not a basically we have to write p okay must be less than hc by lambda lambda naught of q that means what again lambda naught which is the frequency of p is less than frequent not frequency basically it's threshold wavelength okay not frequency it's threshold wavelength okay threshold wavelength of p is less than threshold wavelength of q that means what the threshold wavelength also has the same relation that is uh, the wavelength lambda naught this is the threshold wavelength of q is basically greater than lambda naught of got it so these are basically our two answers okay that uh, we were being uh, we were asked in the question got it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today